patients with kidney cancer that has not spread to other parts of the body have several treatment options available. The choice of treatment depends on various factors, such as the patient's overall health, the size and location of the tumor, and the risk of cancer spreading. The most common treatment option for small, localized kidney cancer is surgery, which involves the removal of the tumor and a small amount of healthy tissue around it. This procedure is known as a partial nephrectomy, or nephron-sparing surgery, and the goal is to preserve as much of the kidney function as possible. Another treatment option is radiofrequency ablation, also known as RFA for short. This uses high-energy radio waves to destroy cancer cells. RFA is an option for patients who cannot have surgery because it is too risky because of other medical problems, or for patients who simply prefer a minimally invasive approach. Cryoablation is another minimally invasive treatment option that involves freezing the tumor using a probe inserted into the kidney. This destroys cancer cells by freezing them. Focused radiation therapy, also known as SBRT, is another low-risk, non-invasive approach. Radiation is high-energy x-rays targeted at the cancer with high precision. Radiation is used in many cancers and is now shown to be both safe and effective in kidney cancer as well. Finally, active surveillance, also known as watchful waiting, may be an option for some patients, particularly those with other health conditions that make surgery or other treatments too risky. During this approach, the patient's condition is monitored regularly with imaging tests to detect changes in the tumor size or growth. In summary, the treatment options for small, localized kidney cancer include surgery, radiofrequency ablation, cryoablation, radiation therapy, and observation. The choice of treatment should be made based on a careful assessment of the patient's medical history, the tumor characteristics, and the potential benefits and risks of each treatment option. This is not medical advice. Talk to your doctor before making any medical decisions.